What's going on, y'all? Exciting day today. I'm gonna go to the range and do some shooting. Come on, guys. Come on. So I figured I would uh, show y'all more in depth of what I use to be able to shoot and then what kind of helps me shoot. And then we'll throw some rounds down range. But I figured that's the, that's the whole plan for the video today. So we'll see how it goes. But we got a bit of a drive. I got to get loaded up still. So I will see y'all when I get up there. All right. We made it to the range. We are the only ones up here. So pretty nice. But figured I'd take a second to kind of show you all my setup so let me get this turned around all right so this is a cad wall tripod for me it is almost necessary to be able to shoot a rifle shotgun i can freehand it no problem but the rifle with the scope and recoil it's just better to have it set up on something and it's more accurate that way as well once I get the rifle in it, I adjust it for the height to where I don't have to move my neck too much to be able to to get onto the scope. But I've had this one for probably about five years, and it helps out a lot, especially being I don't have the function in my hand to hold on to the rifle and trying to move my neck on the scope so and another thing is the finger thing again if you've watched my hunting videos you've seen it even though my trigger is set at a pound like a pound and a half it's just necessary to accurately do a good shot but that's it I mean it's I don't remember how much I got this one for but it has made hunting possible again anyway come here guys but uh, I'm going to get set up, get the gun on here, get some targets up, and we'll get some shots down range. So I'll be back with you all in a minute. Another thing with me is I can't swing to the right. So I either have to be facing directly towards the target, or I found it easiest to turn to the right a little bit where I can swing to my left. I just get a better purchase on the rifle and I feel a lot more steady with uh with the shots where I'm not bouncing around as much so something to keep in mind if you're in this situation figure out which way it's easiest for you to turn might be towards the right might be towards the left for me swinging to the left is a lot easier than swinging to the right but we're about to do some shooting. Where are you shooting at? The, that main center?
shot with it was to the left but to see if they were repeats or Can't get on behind this fucker good. It didn't read on the chrono. All right, so maybe not the best demonstration. I was having a lot of problem today getting on the gun and getting it comfortable in my shoulder. And then for some reason I was having a little more trouble than usual squeezing the trigger. Maybe during hunting, being I have heavier clothes on, it's just easier to get on the gun and get steady. But that's usually how I have to deal with it during the hunting season. Being I'm on the gun so much, I can find my special little spot where I'm really comfortable and really steady. Today wasn't one of them days. Doesn't help that the wind is blowing like 25 miles an hour. But with that being said, I hope this helps anybody who is interested in it. Somebody who might be in my situation trying to get back outdoors. This is how I do it. You just got to kind of work at it and find that sweet spot where you can get comfortable on the gun. You don't have to crane your neck to get on the scope. And you can squeeze the trigger easily and accurately but yeah i hope y'all y'all enjoy the video probably won't be super long we're gonna finish up here and then probably head on home but uh, if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i will see y'all in the next video have a good one